everyone wants chickens these days the cute little bitties at the store are irresistible and you just get a bunch of them and but something you got to keep in mind is bitties become chickens and chickens make messes and you need to have a good coop design it's easy to clean are pretty easy to clean they're never going to be super simple but uh my chicken coop i have it off the ground because number one i don't want to bend over to clean it up and number two i don't want to bend over to pick up eggs i don't want to have to go inside it to pick up eggs i don't want to have to go inside it to clean it up and uh anyways i'm gonna show you my how i built my coop it's real easy to clean and relatively easy to get eggs out of Another benefit of it being up on stilts, <clears throat> you're up off the ground, first of all, so I got a lot of water that comes through here when it rains real hard, runs through a ditch in the back, and if the water ever gets high, they're up off the ground. It's happened several times before, and also, you can hang their little feeders up underneath here, and they won't get rain all in them. Hey, girls and boys, they've just about dug a hole over here they love walling around in the dirt you know all right all right this is the north end of it i have a small coop that i started out with when they were biddies and it's totally enclosed because i have to close it in at night i can't just leave them out in the run at night because there's all kinds of predators around coons possums foxes you name it owls they're all out here where i live and um, i've lost several chickens the foxes mainly but anyways close them up in there at night and here's their coop and uh here's the one side this is how i get to the eggs and my laying boxes are crappy but they work see there i got two eggs in them and i only have two laying hens right now because i just got these other young ladies this year and uh they won't be laying eggs till about september anyway if you want to if you got to lift up like this you want a latch one of the locking latches is better but here's what it looks like in here one thing i learned you put your roosting um poles all level so the chickens ain't fighting over who's the highest that's really helped out a lot with a bunch of feather pulling anyways you open this end up come around here and i got one of these latches here when it latches up spring loaded so it stays latched and doesn't fall on your head there's a little loop on the side it opens up like the other side anyways you latch it up and you got a straight run across there to do your cleaning it's about like i said it's probably three foot tall it's about waist high and uh i'll show you how i clean it out all right, here's a picture of the mess makers right here. Hey, girls there. Hey, Jupiter. First thing you want to do, of course, open her up. And here's my latch. Lift this up. Make sure you have a latch up there. It'll fall down and knock you in the head. You can get your eggs out. And here are my egg laying baskets I don't have a bottom in them they're easier to clean out like that that way if you get a busted egg or something in there it doesn't ruin the wood in the bottom or whatever you got going on they're just simple square frames with no bottom in them and open up this other side so you got a straight shot through there I got one of those spring loaded latches like I said to keep it from falling down on your head because you're going to be reaching in there with a hoe banging around making a lot of racket moving stuff around not a very good close up of it but you get the gist alright I really waited too long to clean this out <clears throat> I usually do it more often you get your wheelbarrow in place get you a good hoe and pretty much just drag all the trash out into the wheelbarrow and that way you can 
use the wheelbarrow to carry off your mess. Put it in a compost pile, throw it in your garden, put it around your plants, because it's a combination of um, wood shavings and chicken poop, which is great fertilizer and mulch in one. But I'm just gonna scrape all this out I can. This plastic is lined on the bottom as an extra barrier of protection for the wood, because I built the thing with wood. Great idea would be to put linoleum in the bottom of it, but I didn't have any at the time. <clears throat> I just put these sheets of plastic into uh, the same size, and I have a bunch of them that I use for it, and just pull the old one out, put a new one in. That way, if it gets torn from the scraping on it or the chickens tear it up, you know, if you have linoleum in there, you'd have to replace the whole thing. But this plastic is cheap. I can just pull it out, put a whole new sheet in, and you're done with it. Now that I have all that scraped out, I'll be laying down some newspaper. This end is actually under the roost, so you want as much um, material below the roost to catch everything so it's a lot easier to clean out. <clears throat> so I'll spread this all over the place just randomly. I just put it in a layer over the plastic. After I get all the newspaper laid down, I'll throw in a bunch of wood shavings. And uh, just the more you can put in there, the better, because it makes it so much easier to clean up. Never skimp and just throw a little bit on the bottom because then it's gonna just, chicken mess is gonna get on your wood and it's just, don't skimp, trust me. Basically, you're gonna do the exact same thing on this other end if you can't reach all the way through. And uh, pull your wheelbarrow around, put it right in front of the pin, lift your door up, make sure it's latched in place, and start scraping away. All right, at this point, we got it all cleaned out. I'm back to layering, layering down the uh, newspaper to make a barrier for more moisture, poop, whatever, busted eggs. Right here, I'm putting my laying boxes back in, and I'm gonna fill them with some bedding, which is the same stuff I use for the bottom of the cage. And here's what it looks like, done. Floor's all nice and clean, ready for them to mess it up again. And when you're through, your whole mess is conveniently in the wheelbarrow, ready to tote off and dispose of. <laughs>